Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's attempt to take on the King of Dust. The King of Dust is the perfect implement to ensure your destruction. In these lands, the King of Dust takes his tithe of all. You face the first of my kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. A choice. Select your desire. Two damage upgrade? Not much, but it's something. Are you sure that's the right approach? As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Alright, so I'm aiming for a huge success. <laughs> I have no idea. I was actually trying to track the huge success card, not even the top card, so... It's pro you know, it's probably not worth it trying to track a card that's not on the top. It's probably better just to look at the top card, and if you can track it, then you can eliminate one. I mean, if it's the right one, then you know you have the right one. If it's not, then you can eliminate one and take it down to a 1 in 3 chance. But I have no idea which, which is which, so I'm just going to choose randomly. Eh, that's fine. Not bad, not good. I think it has literally no effect. Let's get, uh... Hmm. Either a blessing or supplies. Let's get supplies. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Ooh, ten food. I think I'm pretty much set. Should give me something for free. Let's see. Four gold gain cards. Oh my god, I'm going to be rich. Bring on the shops. Roaming ever forward. Hunting for the truth. Do you understand how this game works now? Do you comprehend the stakes? Get these damn boxes out of the way. Give me back my mace. I love that these encounters are basically just like, beat up a bunch of goblins, and it's no real challenge at all. I think maybe the developers really hated goblins and just put in a special encounter where you just get to beat them up. Ah, perfect! Jewelers specialize in selling artifacts and rings. Such an exclusive market demands high prices. Well, I have a lot of money. I do still have all my equipment, right? Wait, 
I... Are you guaranteed to lose a piece of equipment or something? Like, didn't I start with a shield? Son of a bitch. I wonder if I'm missing something with those encounters. Is there... I assume I'm losing it from the goblin encounters, so is there some way to prevent myself from losing it? I saw two goblins with bags of money. And then one goblin with my axe. I didn't see anybody with a shield. Time heals. During combat, press right bumper to twist time and return your health to its starting value. Ooh, that's really, really good. Yeah. I can buy any of these. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. That's good. You know, I think it's interesting that whoever did the sound design for this scene, they thought, you know, we have this kind of relaxing shopping experience where you get to delightfully flick between cards and stuff, and we have this really nice music and it's so calming and great, and they thought, you know what this scene really needs? It needs the sound of a fucking dog barking in the background constantly! Ugh! Shut up! Jesus Christ. Seriously though, for just to be serious for a moment, I do actually absolutely loathe the sound of dogs barking. I cannot fucking stand it. So, my hairs are basically standing on end and I just want to get out of this place. Once per combat, press right bumper to activate an aura that makes every successful strike a drop of gold. That sounds good, but um, I like time heals because if I find myself taking a lot of damage, I can just reverse the whole thing. So let's get this, and let's get the fuck out of here before that dog drives me crazy. A powerful tool in the right hands. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. But wait a minute, can I get multiple of these at the same time? Because what I just bought was an artifact, right? But this isn't an artifact, is it? I'm not sure. They have the same sorts of icons, which make me think they are, but it doesn't mention pressing a button. Do all artifacts have to be used by pressing a button? I don't know. It's probably going to be a waste, and I probably won't be able to use it, but let's do this and see what happens. Oh, no, it says... Poison. Yeah. It's the tool of the traitor. Yeah, time heals is already equipped. Okay. Please leave, please leave, please leave. Oh. Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of no dogs barking. Oh yeah, the artifact. I think... I'm trying to remember how the timing of it works. Um, can you use it once per combat? I mean, it has a recharge time, and I can't remember if the recharge time actually carries over in between encounters. In other words, if I use it in this encounter, does that mean I might it might not recharge in time for the next one? I can't remember. But obviously being able to reduce, uh, to reverse time and actually undo damage is a pretty powerful effect, so you can't just use it all the time, or you'd be completely overpowered. So I'm going to be careful and not use it in this encounter. No! Oh. I tried to attack him, but it was too slow. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. 
Whilst sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost rushing towards you. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hands signaling that it means no harm. Its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already? Has this place already corrupted you so? Forget already? I don't know you. Hmm. I think if I lower my weapon, it's going to take advantage of me. I think this is a trap. No, I'm going to attack. The ghost flinches, pale eyes wide with shock, as your weapon swings uselessly through its transparent form. With an anguished sob, it blinks from existence, leaving you standing in the silent darkness. Oh. Well, now I just feel bad. I'm sorry. Well, didn't get that token. The bandits are sorely loyal to their king. They will not let you reach him easily. The bandits are sorely loyal to their king. They will not let you reach him easily. <laughs> All right, I need to go for the ranged. That might have been worth a time rewind. Maybe. I didn't lose that much health. Hmm, you realize one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Let's sneak up and kill them. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. Please let it be a shield, please let it be a shield! Armor that gives you the proportional strength and power of a barbarian, which you are on closer examination. Defense light. During combat, every hit you sustain increases your speed and weapon strength. Ooh, that sounds really good. I like how the cards that you use to travel to different levels and just different parts of the dungeon. I, I say dungeon, but in reality I think oftentimes, or maybe all the times, you're not actually in a dungeon. Uh, but anyway, I like how the kind of the exit cards for the floor or whatever you want to call this, how it keeps changing. So it's not just going up or down stairs, but other times it's going through a forest or, in this case, going through the cave mouth. It's really cool, it gives me a nice sense of adventure and going places. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Treasure chest. I just get a free treasure chest, right? No tricks? While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. The chest may hold great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. Eh, it'll be fine. It's not going to be fine. Ah, it's fine! The hall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. The treasure chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Well, I've come this far, I'm not going to leave it alone.
I have no idea. Oh, come on! The treasure chest stubbornly refuses to give way to your attempts. You leave disappointed. Oh, okay. That's fine. Nothing good or bad happened. Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. All the lands in the kingdom are being overrun with ratmen. Merchants in my lands are attacked on the road, as are any travelers, such as yourself. My guards, my guards are needed here, with me. But if I had just 50 gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nests and cull their numbers. I don't have the gold to pay you, unfortunately. I understand that contributing to the common good may be... unfamiliar to your sort. But I urge you to return immediately if you change your mind. I would actually gladly pay, pay that, because the Ratmen are really damn difficult to me. Especially since I have no shield. And what do you know? It seems you have made an enemy of the Ratmen. They do not normally attack unless provoked. Oh god, I'm dead! Wait, wait, time rewind. Remember, time rewind. Time rewind. Time rewind. Oh god. I, I died before fighting 4-4. This is 6-6. Six, six. At least there's no traps, as far as I can tell. I'm going for the range people first. I don't care if I take shots in the back, I'm going for them. Die, you son of a bitch! Alright, got one. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. I can actually fall off. That actually went really well. Whew. Yeah, it seems like killing the ranged and then just kiting the rest seems to be a pretty damn good tactic. Let's actually regen a little bit of HP. No, He's I don't want to talk to you. you remember. He can only ask, not order. Wait, I just lost money. Oh right, the damn curse! The more health you have at the end of an encounter, the more gold you lose. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and sell my axe. Two hundred to remove it? Not gonna happen. Don't think I really care about healing that much. I should be fine.
Especially with Time Rewind. Of course, killing their leader is a fine way to provoke them. The Jack of Plague? Isn't that the boss I'm fighting? I guess this is like a mini boss. Okay, this time I think I will actually pay for heals. Better than trudging along a muddy road, certainly. You may have to contend with every bandit in the kingdom before you reach the king. <laughs> that was the easiest encounter ever. Because I was at full health, I lost seven gold. Ah, extra one left alive. We can do this. Wait, I tracked the top card, but I didn't pay attention to which card was the top card. As in, is it a failure or a success? This, this is the top one, but which one was it? Uh... Shit. Okay, it was a failure. <laughs> I'm sure you're grateful for that. Ooh, what does mercenary contract do? I don't know, but I really need a shield. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. With practice and good timing, you can reflect ranged attacks. Hmm, I probably can't afford anything, but then again, my money is just going to keep disappearing every combat encounter, so I might as well try to spend it if I can. Yeah, I can't buy any of those, but I can buy food. So let's just stuff my face with as much food as possible. have to contend with every bandit in the kingdom before you reach the king. Let's go 
Go ahead and put them out of their misery. Choose from these options. Ooh. An item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to take your time. Yeah, I don't think the gold bonus is really going to mean all that much, given that I keep constantly losing gold. But knowing where the stairs are is not bad. Ah, the wandering mendicant. Will humanity ever move beyond poverty, religion, and charity? He begs for food to feed the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help the less fortunate. Well, I have so much food that, yeah, I'm just gonna say, yeah, go ahead. A worthy decision, the priest explains, or exclaims. How many young ones will see another summer due to your generosity? Have ten food, it's fine. The priest humbly accepts your provisions. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. I can fail this? Alright, I tracked the top one. The top one is this one, and it is failure. Ah! The priest exclaims, and draws out a tarnished old ring. I'll have the kids polish it up first. In the meantime, take my blessing. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. <laughs> He's talking about the balancing of the game? That's cool. He is, I suppose, at least within the story, the game designer. That's pretty clever. Uh, any kill made using an axe grants the player three health. That's really good. Here is your token. Well done. This tale begins and then proceeds relentlessly. With each step, you will discover a new card and a deeper mystery. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that this that the cards that I encounter, there's going to be some storylines that develop with them, I think. Because the priest gave me something now. He gave me a blessing, but he said he was going to give me an old ring as well, but he wanted to wait until the kids polished it up first. Now, unless, unless by doing that, there's like an, a random encounter added somewhere else in the dungeon, where he gives you the ring. Unless that's the case, I think what actually happens is that by gaining his token, by defeating his challenge, that's going to give you an encounter card that involves the ring. So like through subsequent games, I think the story might actually develop. Like the storyline within that one card is actually going to maybe develop into its own little mini storyline. I don't know if that's the case, but I get that feeling. Alright, unfortunately my weapon is not a ma uh, not an axe, so I'm not going to get that bonus. The very apotheosis of intellect. Magicians, I cannot fault your choice, though I wonder how you will fare against such tactics. The mages of Koran are the last human magic users. They are worshipped and feared in equal measure. They hide away in their towers, which they build ever upwards to grow closer to the gods they hope to usurp. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You approach a tall spire that shines with magical energy. Of course we're going to enter. I can't just leave it there. It's full of adventure, and loot, and probably death. As soon as your hand touches the cold iron doors, the mages are alerted to your presence. Two mages. Doesn't sound too bad. Okay, so this is sort of like a mini boss encounter, isn't it? Wait a minute, there's not two mages, there's three! What are you smoking? Oh. What in the hell are you doing? 
<laughs> okay. Get drowned. That wasn't too bad. You've made an enemy of the Mages Guild. Whoops. I don't think the Mages will forgive your transgressions there. Very few are so foolish as to deliver themselves to the King. I didn't expect to encounter him so soon. The king is fierce in battle, but loyal to his troops. He can choose to heal them during combat. The king of dust broke faith with king and country long ago, and has made himself rich and powerful through the judicious application of cruelty and terror outside of law for decades. Okay, so he can heal his buddies. Which means I think I should go for him first. Because uh, if I go for the ads, then they're just going to keep getting healed. Yeah, let's go for him. There's a token in it for you if you win. All right, can't forget about time rewind. Bring it on. a tough one. <laughs> he just hit his own friend. Oh, wow. I just took a lot of damage. Okay, I'm actually going to time rewind. Or, wait, how do I do it? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, that gave me a bunch of health back. Alright, sweet. He just hit his friend again. I should kill the allies. Can I do a uh, time rewind again? Oh, so oh my god, that's so good. That is incredibly good. Yeah, look at how fast it regenerates. Let's see what happens with this. Can you bring him back from the dead? I can even use it again. <laughs> that basically makes me invincible, doesn't it? Ooh, 
Wait, it's not regenerating anymore. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it stopped regenerating for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, I need to practice my uh, timing on that. Oh, no, that didn't work. Missed it again. Yeah, I need to practice my timing on the... Uh, on what? I, I don't get the timing on that. I pressed it when it was green, but it didn't seem to work. Alright, come on, hit me from afar. Do it. Do it. They're not going to, are they? I think they only do that when there's a lot of enemies. There are many who will be pleased that you have defeated the likes of my lesser king. As for me, I think you have but proven that I must defeat you entirely. A set of new trinkets for you. You will need them, and more. Okay, so this is for donating food for the orphans. So yeah, let's see if I get an encounter card that continues the story. Yeah, you do. I mean, I guess you just get the ring as a uh, directly as an equipment card, but you also get charity too. Interesting. Mini storylines. That's very cool. Hmm, looks like I get a bunch of mage-related stuff. Jack of Scales. Is that a Lizardman? Come. Come once more to the game. The more you play, the more I wonder. Two curses. Heavy arrows. In combat, projectiles travel at half their usual speed, but inflict twice the damage. Hmm. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. All right, let's uh, assemble our deck for next time and then end the episode. So three new cards, let's add in the new weapon. Should I add in some mage stuff? Let's put in the Ring of Poverty. I'm guessing that has some sort of positive effect when you have low gold. Okay, I definitely want to keep in time heals because that is amazing. Okay, I have experience with Damocles in the past. I don't think I've shown... I don't think I've ever gotten it in a video, but I know that I don't really like it. Uh, basically, you press a button and it just sends out a bunch of, like, throwing daggers in a bunch of different directions around you. So it's sort of like an AoE. I don't really like it, though, so I'm just going to toss it. Berserker armor seems very good. I'm going to keep that. Let's throw in a mage thing and see what happens. I mean, I guess we could toss out a mace, too. Charity 2, let's continue that storyline. Just throwing a bunch of other ones, I suppose. 
Now what about the original charity? Can I toss that out, now that I've finished it? Let's actually toss out Twisted Canyon. And you know, you know what, let's get rid of goblins, I hate them. Just go away, please. Bandit attack, let's toss that too. Oh wait, do I not have enough new ones? Oh, I don't. Alright, so I've got to throw in a couple again. Um, let's see. Well, Twisted Canyon is not bad. It's a pretty good way to get equipment. Same with the Maze of Traps. Okay. There we go. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we will attempt to take on the Jack of Scales.